Hey, welcome back to First Time Feast. I'm your host, Bobby Perko. So as you see, we've kicked off season two and we're well underway. Today, I'm gonna show you some delicious mouth-watering smash burgers. Looking across the internet, there's really not that much mouth-watering smash burger content on the internet. So I'm gonna show you how to do it in a couple of different ways. First way, just a traditional smash burger, right? We're gonna go with some meat, some cheese, some bun. If we wanna throw some lettuce and tomato on there, get fancy, we can do that. And the other way, I'm gonna do a Southwest patty melt that is just so unbelievably delicious. You're gonna want to stay tuned to see how we do it. Let's get it. All right, guys, so we're gonna go about this in a couple of different ways. So what we wanna do, we wanna get our pepper fire roasted and set aside so it can steam. That's gonna take a little bit of time. So even though this is gonna be for the second item up today, I'm gonna to go ahead and get this part started right now. So for this, we wanna go ahead and turn on our, our stove here. Um, I'm gonna go with about a, a medium high heat and this is completely okay to toss this on the open griddle. So we're gonna kind of balance this guy up here and we're gonna get, not under the direct heat, but off to the side, it's gonna start getting some char, okay? So we're gonna let this go, we're gonna let this cook for a little bit of time, it's gonna start popping and bubbling and doing all kinds of stuff, and we're gonna wanna toast it around every now and again. After we get this guy cooked, we're gonna wanna stick it in a Ziploc bag. If you got cellophane, if you got saran wrap, whatever you have at the house, go ahead and toss it in here and seal it up, set it aside for about 10 minutes. So what that's gonna do, that's gonna allow this pepper to sweat, it's gonna get all of the, uh, um, outer skin kind of peeled off and broken down so that way you can go ahead and just slide it off really really easy okay so while we're doing that we're gonna let this kind of pepper cook we're gonna kind of keep an eye on it as we do our stuff um, we're gonna use our flat stop we're gonna use our flat top fair uh, griller today okay so we got our flat top griller here so if you have a um, blackstone at home if you have a flat stone attachment at the house you can do these smash mash, uh, smash burgers um, I honestly use just a cast iron skillet, cast iron skillet, cast iron pan, um, cast iron griddle, whatever you have, it makes it really, really effective. But guys with smash burgers, there is a little bit of a distinction between, um, a smash burger and a, ha and a hamburger. Um, I had a question asked to me earlier. So what's the difference? What's the difference between a hamburger and a smash burger? So when you take a hamburger, you got a big old thick patty, anywhere from a, a quarter of an inch, half inch, or even a full inch, you let that cook down on your stove and it's going to basically reduce reduced down into like a little bit of a hockey puck, right? Um, all of those juices stay on the inside of that burger and you're gonna cook it, cook it typically um, not as much char on the outside and then the inside of that burger is gonna be like anywhere from medium to medium well, right? Well, with your smash burger, it's gonna have a much, much larger surface area, okay? Um, you're gonna smash this thing down, it's gonna get really, really paper thin and that's gonna allow your burger to have a really, really nice char and a really nice crust. Um, it just makes for just a much more flavorful burger. Um, if you eat hamburgers, I've been eating hamburgers my whole life and only recently discovered these smash burgers and I mean to tell you they're, they're done different, right? They are done different and I'm really happy um, to share this one with you, okay? So what we're gonna do, now our, our griddle is turned up to 325 degrees. I'm gonna just about max this guy out. I'm gonna turn it up to 375, that's as high as this thing gets. We wanna get our cook stone, our surface area, really, really, really hot. Okay, um, so if you had, let's say you had some bacon and you wanted to cook down some bacon, go ahead and toss that guy down, cook it out of the way, cook it down and let your uh, juices and grease kind of coat the pan and we can go ahead and cook our smash burgers down on that. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna set this aside here for a minute and we're gonna grab our hamburger. So I am using a 8515 ground chuck today. Um, you can do a 90-10, you can do an 80-20. Um, the fat ratio does matter a little bit, but I went with an 85-15 because I feel like I don't really need that much fat in this burger, um, but it's still gonna give you a nice juicy, juicy burger. Okay, so when you see these on the internet and you see people cooking down their hamburgers on the internet, you kinda wanna wonder how much, um, how do I size these burgers correctly? And the easiest way, so we, we know we're dealing with a pound, so we're just gonna divide this in half real quick. Use your hands, it's completely fine. Divide it in half, and then we're gonna divide it in half again, okay? So we're going lengthwise this time. So we got our, our four equal patties. So we're, we're roughly, we know these are gonna be four ounce patties. So we're gonna ball them up, okay? Ball them up. If one's slightly bigger than the other, you don't have to go see a doctor, it's okay. Just, uh, just take a little bit from one and move it over to the other. So we gotta pad that over. And the last one, that's perfect, okay? Those are all set aside, those are ready to go. I'm gonna wipe off my hands right quick. 
So as for seasonings, when you're dealing with hamburgers, smash burgers, steaks, you really just need the holy trinity of this. And for me, it is nothing more than salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Okay, salt, pepper, garlic powder, that's all you're gonna really, really need. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna layer down just a little bit of olive oil. Okay, go ahead and get that coated down nicely. And for today, we are gonna be using our cast iron hamburger smasher. These are very, very useful tools for this. You can use a really big spatula if you want, um, but for me, I found these work really, really well. Um, I would recommend if you have some parchment paper or some wax paper at the house, get yourself some, lay it over the top of the burger and smash it down. It's gonna give you an even smash every single time. I don't have that with me today, so we're gonna cheat a little bit. We're gonna use a little bit of Pam spray and we're gonna coat this down just enough to where it's gonna create a little bit of uh, lubrication and hopefully that the burger uh, will, will slide right off, okay? So we don't wanna forget about our pepper. Pepper's looking nice and charred. We're almost good. We're gonna move it over to this end real quick. Get that end part cooked. We're almost good with that. All right, so let's go ahead and start with, we're just gonna start with one patty right now, okay? We're just gonna start with one. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this patty, we're gonna set it down and hopefully hear a sear. Yep, that's perfect. I'm gonna move that oil around a little bit. We got a little bit of a slant. That is okay. And then we're gonna take our smasher, all right? And we're gonna really get in there. We're gonna get it down. We're gonna smash it, smash it, smash it. It's expanding that burger. And hopefully, that's what I was afraid of. It's, there we go, perfect. So it's gonna slide right off of there, okay? So while that is sitting there, this is the perfect time to season it. So we're gonna go ahead and grab our salt and our pepper. We're gonna go ahead and just season it lightly. We don't need to go crazy with this because we're gonna season the other side too. Go with our pepper. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and go with our garlic powder. Garlic powder's on, we are good. Our Pepper is now charred up. So we're gonna go ahead and toss this guy into our bag. Burger is cooking just fine. Go ahead, toss this in there, and we're gonna seal it up. As you can see, there's gonna be a bunch of steam forming on the inside of this bag. So that steam is perfect. That's acting as some condensation. That's gonna help you just peel the skin right off of this. Um, and we're gonna have ourselves a really, really nice uh, pepper here to eat in a, pretty, in a, in a little bit here. Okay, I got our stove turned off. We're watching the burger. Everything is looking nice. So when you're doing these smash burgers, guys, you wanna just kinda keep an eye on it. You want that crust to form. You also wanna make sure you have a really, really high, high heat. So these burgers are paper thin. They're gonna cook really, really fast. You know it's ready to flip. So if you keep an eye on this thing, you're gonna start seeing some liquid and some blood start forming to the top. Once that liquid and blood starts kinda pooling and foaming at the top, you know it's time to flip. So we're getting really, really close here, okay? So we're getting close, we're almost ready to go. Since we're working on this one, what we're gonna do, I personally love egg on my burger. I love it, I love it, I love it. Can't get enough of it. So we're gonna go ahead and crack one egg and get uh, this egg running, running on the right side here. All right. So burger is on, egg is on, um, and we're gonna get our spatula because we're going to get ready to flip this here. Give it a quick little peek. So not nearly hot enough. Um, it's not quite there. So we're going to let that keep cooking down. We're going to let that go. Um, while we're doing that, what we can do, we can work on our sauce. Actually, you know what? I changed my mind. We're going to season our egg real quick. We're going to hit this with just this little splash of pepper. That's perfect. Okay. So burger looks like it's just about ready to be flipped. As you can see, all of these juices and everything are pooling just in exactly like we talked about. The burger's got a little bit of the shrinkage going on. That's okay. Um, and then we're gonna give this a little flip. We should see a nice crust on this side. Yes, perfect. So it's kind of golden brown. We got that wonderful, that wonderful thick crust on there. Now that we got that flipped, we're gonna season the other side real quick. And then we, since we flipped it, we wanna go ahead and throw our cheese on there. So for this today, guys, we are gonna be using some pepper jack cheese. You can use American, you can use literally whatever you wanna use, 
But as of lately, I have just fallen in love with pepper jack. So we're going to go ahead and throw a couple slices on there. So when you're doing your burger, any burger, you want to have your cheese ready for the flip. Okay, so don't uh, follow my fail that I just did there for you. So we just flipped it. We want to cover that uh, cover that patty and cheese. By the time that cheese melts, the burger's going to be cooked the rest of the way through. So if we're looking at our egg, our egg is just about done. So I'm going to flip this real quick. And then we're going to have that egg ready for our burger. So that's getting ready. We might as well have our uh, bun nice and toasted. So we're going to slide our burger over a little bit, let it cook in that oil. And we're going to let our bun toast right in that awesome burger juice. Let that toast for a couple of seconds. So while that's toasting, our egg is just about done. We're going to get the starter of our sauce going. So we're going to go with about two tablespoons of mayo. We're going to do just an absolute splash of ketchup. We don't need a lot here. Um, I'm making this for pretty much one to two sandwiches. So if you want to make this for more, scale it up. I'm just going to do a dash, an absolute dash of mustard. And then we're going to go with just a half a spoonful of relish. Okay. We're going to give this a little bit of a mix. And that sauce should start looking familiar to something you've seen at, uh, at a restaurant. All right. So our first burger is ready to go. So we're going to take, we're going to take our uh, toasted patty or toasted bun here, pull this off. We're going to slather up a little bit of our burger sauce here. Get that nice laid on thick. We're going to go ahead and toss our patty. Let that drain off for just a second. Put that guy on there. All right. And then we're going to hit our perfect egg right on top of that. And then if you wanted to add just a little bit more sauce on top, you could do so. And there is just a very simple, very traditional smash burger. Okay. So that's just the beginning. You can do really whatever you want. So that's level one to this guys. I showed you level one. I showed you the basics. Now you can feel confident enough to, to make your own smash burgers at home. So now what we're going to do, we're going to kick it up a level. We're going to go do, go ahead and do a double decker. Okay. So we got two patties. We've got three patties left. So we're going to go ahead and get these guys started on there. Toss them on, give them equal space. So that way they have plenty of room to expand and, and uh, cook down on here. Uh, just like last time, we're going to give our spatula just a little bit of a spritz. And then we're going to go ahead and smash these burgers down. Oh no. So when that happens, we just got to try to fix it real quick. Flip it over to the other side. Perfect. No harm, no foul. Let's go ahead and do the other one real quick. Hopefully that doesn't happen again, but if it does, not the end of the world. All right. So again, that's why that parchment paper, that wax paper, Really super important because it'll just slide right off and it'll be perfect for you every single time. Again, we're just going to go ahead and season these guys up real quick. A little bit of uh, garlic powder, some black pepper, and we're going to go with just a little bit of salt. Okay. So while those guys are cooking down, what we're going to do, we're going we're gonna to double down on this sauce. We're going to basically make, make this sauce the way that you would be making it for uh, a larger party or, or a couple of larger burgers. So we're going to go ahead and make a little bit more. We're going to go ahead and go, oh man, that is not a lot of mayo. So we're going to go with the remainder of the mayo in this tiny jar, which is approximately, oh man, small amount of mayo. All right. So we're going to go with, shoot, I don't know. That looks like about a quarter cup of mayo. We're going to scale up our, scale up our ketchup here. We're going to go with about a tablespoon of ketchup. And then as for our mustard, we are going to go with about a half a tablespoon. And then as far as our seasonings go, let's go ahead and hit this with some pepper, some black pepper again, garlic powder and some salt. And then we don't want to forget about our, we don't want to forget about our relish. So let's go ahead and dump in just a little bit of that relish, make this guy ready here. So now, Ooh, splashing. All right. So this smells really, really good. You, they call this fry sauce. Um, if you want to make this at home, really, really simple. I mean, there's all kinds of copycat recipes out there for, uh, for that type of a sauce. Okay. So we're going to go ahead, let that sauce cook down our burgers. Let's do a temp check on them. 
We got one side of this grill cooking hotter than the other. Also, not that big of a deal. I'm just gonna kind of move this guy over and let this cook down right next to it. Because if this is hotter, might as well let it, uh, let it cook with it. This one's gonna be ready to flip here pretty soon. But once we get these guys flipped over, so let's, uh, we're gonna start stacking up and layering up our burger. So let's go ahead, let this guy start toasting up. Okay, and then we're gonna get another plate ready because we're gonna be going for round, round two here in a second. So let's set our patty aside for the moment. And we are going to get this guy ready to go. So for this one, we're gonna change it a little bit. We're gonna do, instead of doing some pepper jack cheese, we're gonna do some habanero jack cheese. We're gonna make this guy a little bit, a uh, little bit spicy, okay? So let's go ahead and go with one red onion. We're gonna give this a nice little chop. Okay, so we got these perfectly cut onion rings. There's something funky with that ring, so we'll get rid of that. Set that aside, we got some lettuce, and then we'll go ahead and get some tomato cut here for these burgers. We got plenty of time left on these burgers. So we're gonna cut these tomatoes nice and thin. Try to get them as uniform as you possibly can. Okay, so we got our lettuce set aside. Let's check on the uh, butter. Let's do this. Let's, uh, let's help our burgers out a little bit, shall we? These burgers need a little bit of help. So let's go ahead and tag a little bit of a knob of butter. Let's toss those down. We got to get our, our bun all up in that. That'll help it caramelize, that'll help it toast, and that's just gonna impart a lot more flavor to these, to these patties. Plus, as greasy as these burgers are, it's gonna really help with the, uh, the fat saturation. So, I don't know about you, but I really, really can't stand a wet, soggy bun. If I eat any fast food restaurant or I go out to a steakhouse and I go to bite into a burger and it just kinda like squishes in my hand, yuck, okay? So, toasting your buns is really gonna help that out. They're almost there. So I'm going to give these burger patties a flip and we're going to go ahead and hit it with our cheese. So cooking them down in that butter, that's also going to add to a little bit of that flavor. So we're going to do these, this habanero jack. I'm going to go with two slices, one for each patty. Toss that on there, toss that on there, let them cook. If you had a, uh, cooking pan, just like a silver lid, spread a little bit of water in there and cover it up. It's going to really help that cheese completely could like melt down and just get all ooey gooey and unctuous for you. Um, let's check on our patties one more time. These are pretty much good to go guys. So we're going to pull these off, set this guy aside. And just like last time, we're going to hit this with, we're going to hit this with our, uh, with our fry sauce that we made. Go ahead and slather that on the bottom. We want to be generous with it. Burgers are just about wrapped up, so then we're going to get our, our toppings ready to go for our top side of this burger. Go ahead and throw a couple of onions on there. Your tomatoes of choice. And then we're going to stack, double stack our patties. Look at this. Look at this. Okay, so we got burger number two ready to go. That guy is unbelievable. You can't really miss out on making these at home, guys. So as juicy, as crispy, as caramelized, as you know, as cheesy as that burger is gonna be, I think we can do better, right? I'm saving the best for last. My personal favorite, I'm gonna do this Southwest uh, patty melt for you. So I'm gonna turn my heat down just a little bit. Um, so this Southwest patty melt, I made for the first time, probably, I don't know, two years ago. Um, I just got done shoveling snow. I was tired. I was cold. I was hungry. I had some hamburgers in the, or some hamburger patties in the, uh, in the, uh, fridge. I wanted something different, right? So 
I didn't know what to do and I ended up just kind of winging some stuff together and I came up with this. This one, guys, is a game changer. So go to your store, go wherever you can go to get uh, some fresh bread. I have a loaf of sourdough asiago, okay? The sourdough asiago is just a really, really nice, thick, dense, yummy bread. This bread alone, you can sit here and eat it, put it in soup, whatever you want. But today, we're gonna make some patty melts with it, okay? So what we're gonna do first, we're gonna cut this bread up. We're gonna wanna go with roughly inch side slices. We don't wanna use the ends. We're not gonna be using them for this. Uh, go ahead and set that aside. But we wanna go ahead and do maybe roughly an inch to a half an inch size uh, slices of bread. We wanna make sure they're relatively consistent all the way through because your cheese will melt at different rates if it's not super consistent. Okay, so we got our bread ready, set aside, cut. So just for now, I'm gonna give this just a little bit of a starting toast up here. I'm gonna go ahead and dip it in a little bit of that grease, let it start toasting. Set that in a little bit of that grease, let that start toasting. We're gonna let that set aside up there. Now we're gonna save our last patty. We're gonna go ahead, make this one just a little bit more elongated, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and smash this guy down and get this one rolling. Don't wanna forget our spray. Just like the last two times, we're gonna smash this guy down. Hopefully that comes off. Perfect. Okay, seasoning, same thing. Really, really easy, salt, pepper, garlic powder. We can even get all fancy and do two at a time. Look at that. Boom. All right, guys, so for this one, we're gonna let that cook. We're gonna let that do the same thing. We're gonna wanna go ahead and start layering on our cheeses to our bread, because as that bread is toasting and cooking, it's gonna start heating up, and we want this to be a really ooey, gooey, warm, yummy sandwich, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and do, might as well do some pepper jack on one side, and we're gonna go ahead and do our habanero jack on the other side, okay? So we're gonna go ahead, separate these breads just a little bit, toss that down here, and we're gonna go habanero jack on the other. Hopefully if you guys like a little bit of spice, because this is gonna be a really, really good, really delicious, spicy, ooey gooey burger. Okay, so remember our pepper from earlier? She should be just about done. So we're gonna go ahead and grab this, set this aside, and we're gonna try to peel off some of the skin. As you see, that skin just kind of peels right off. Um, if we had a wire rack, we would have toasted this a little bit more consistently, right? Um, but we made do with the best that we had, which that's kind of what cooking's all about. So we're gonna get rid of that part. We're gonna get rid of that part. We don't really need that. We're gonna toss a little bit more of this black, blackened cooked off here. And then we're gonna go ahead and slice down the middle Peel this open, and if there are any seeds inside, we don't really need those. So you can use the back of your knife, and you can just scrape those out like so. All right. So now that that's going, what we're going to do, we are going to flip our burger. It's just about done. We're going to hit this. I'm just going to do black pepper on the top this time. And while that's cooking, I'm going to go ahead, set this next to this in this grease here. I'm gonna let this finish cooking down because it needs just to go just a little bit longer here. So I'm gonna put this, actually what I can even do, I can take my Blackstone or my uh, griddle smasher, make sure this gets an even cook. I can just put this right on top of there, let that weight down, that pepper, it'll finish cooking it the rest of the way. Now, when you go to grab that, it's gonna be really, really hot. So you wanna make sure that you have a little rag or a, a towel of some sort to make sure you're peeling that off. So as we're looking at our bread, our cheese is starting to get melty. We're starting to starting to uh, wrap this guy up. So if you wanted to do caramelized onions, if you wanted to do fresh onions, now's your chance, now's your time to do that. So we're gonna go ahead, pull this guy off of here, set that aside. We're gonna take our pepper, we're gonna put this on top of our patty, and we're gonna stick our patty in between our patty melts, okay? And we're gonna toss this other side on here like so. 
and we're going to let this guy cook just a little bit longer. We're going to turn our heat down so we don't want to burn it. That is going to be really, really good, guys. So that's going to continue to cook for a couple more seconds. So let's go ahead and get ready for our plating on that one. All right, guys, and here you have it. So I showed you smash burgers three different ways. We got our traditional, simple, just elegant cheese and egg smash burger. Then we went ahead and doubled it up a notch. We went with our double patty and our, our fry sauce. Your traditional um, hamburger that you see all across America, but I guarantee you if you do this at home, it's gonna be a lot better. And then lastly, our, our spi our, for our spice lovers out there, we got our roasted Anaheim with our, our habanero jack and pepper jack cheese on our toasted French uh, burger here, guys. Unbelievable. As always, I appreciate you for joining us today. Thank you for watching First Time Feast. I got all kinds of content out there. If you want to check me out on YouTube, TikTok, or Facebook, check me out. First Time Feast. Thanks for watching. Peace.